Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steph or if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I am currently wearing my rainbow sweater which is totally a missed opportunity for me to have worn it in my video that I will be posting. I'm not sure if it'll be before this one or after um, but I did a book reorganization video where I reorganized my bookshelves back into the rainbow order. Definitely should have worn this for this for that video but regardless today's video we are talking about tropes. Tropes that are my favorite, things that are not so much my favorite but I don't mind in books and things that I like totally hate if it comes up in a book. Um, so we're going to discuss all that kind of stuff and some just like bookish related things. Um, also, as I'm talking about the tropes, I will be popping up on screen a couple pictures of books that I have either read or own or have just seen that are really popular that go with that trope. So if you're interested in checking them out, um, there will be covers on the screen on either side somewhere around here. I'm not sure how I'm going to put that in in editing. But yeah, I've got my little journal here that I've written down some tropes and also some books that correspond with those tropes. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it and talk about all of my favorite tropes in romance books. Okay, so I've got a list here and then I've also got um, a list of books that correspond with it. So let's start out with Enemies to Lovers. Enemies to Lovers is like one of my favorite tropes. I really enjoy books that have enemies to lovers in it, whether it's, you know, like rivals kind of thing. Um, enemies to Lovers is like, basically it, it's in quite a lot of books and I have a list of books that I have either read or that are really popular that have enemies to lovers in it. Um, so the dating plan, I'll pop the books up on. I'm, some of them I know the authors of, um, some of them I don't. I do own some of these books as well. Um, the Mistake by L. Kennedy, um, maybe not by Colleen Hoover. The Score by L. Kennedy, um, the Spanish Love Deception, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, The Unhoneymooners, um, Punk 57, Beach Read, the deal um yeah those are just a few books that are quite popular um some of them i have read and are definitely really great enemies to lovers books um so yeah enemies to lovers is definitely one of my really likable tropes that if there is a book that has enemies to lovers in it the chances are that i'm going to be picking it up um there's another trope i'm going to talk about is love triangle Honestly, like I haven't read too many books that have a love triangle in it. Um, whenever I think of love triangle, I automatically think of the Twilight series. Um, that is like the biggest love triangle that I feel like everybody knows about. Um, I don't necessarily think that if a book was saying it's a love triangle that I would necessarily gravitate towards it. Um, just happen to read some books that do have a love triangle in it. Um, but I wouldn't say that I seek out those types of books. Um, so a couple books that have love triangle in it are Serenading Heartbreak by Ella Fields, I believe. And I have read that one. I thought that was a really good love triangle. Um, like I said, the Twilight series, um, The Mistake by L. Kennedy. Um, there's a few that are going to pop up again. Um, Confess by Colleen Hoover. Really loved the love kind of triangle in that one. I really enjoyed that book. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Um, one of my favorite books and my favorite Colleen Hoover book I've read so far. I talked about that in my last video, but I love the love triangle in that book. I thought it was really well written. And, um, it Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Definitely a love triangle um, in that book as well. Definitely a really well done love triangle, I would say. Um, yeah, I really... I really do, like I said, enjoy books that have the love triangle in them. I wouldn't say that I seek out those types okay, of books. Okay, so one trope that I absolutely love is fake dating. And this is one of my, like, ultimate, like, god tier type of tropes. That if a book has fake dating in it, I'm automatically going to be drawn to it. Um, I don't necessarily seek out certain tropes in books. I just pick up books that I think would be interesting. But definitely if I hear that the book has fake dating in it, I'm all over it. I will pick that book up. Um, there's quite a lot of books that have fake dating in it. I'm just going to name off a few. Um, like I said, there's going to be some that are reoccurring. Uh, the Dating Plan, The Upside of Falling, 
um, definitely to all the boys I love before series um, I do own those books I have watched the TV series but I do not uh, I have not read those ones um, but definitely there is uh, fake dating in those the deal by L Kennedy I d I read this one it was a five-star read for me um, I loved the fake dating in that book the Spanish love deception another five-star read for me love the fake dating in that one as well the love hypothesis one of my favorite books I've read so far this year and fake dating is like the main concept of that book I really really enjoyed that book um, I still think about it to this day I really really liked it um, the unhoneymooners um, by Christina Lauren that is a really popular book I gave it one of four stars um, but it still is a really good fake dating book and then the kiss quotient by Helen Huang and I loved the kiss quotient I definitely recommend you reading that one um, it was a really good book and loved the fake dating the characters in that book I can't remember the names of the characters but the way that the male character treated the female character was just so cute and so sweet and I really loved the fake dating aspect in that book um, let's talk about a couple tropes that I'm not like too big on and these ones here I won't really have um, recommendations for because either I haven't read something that has this trope or I'm just not a huge fan of it so I, I'm not going to recommend tropes that <laughs> I don't enjoy um, one thing I will say like I feel like um, books that have I don't know if this is like necessarily a trope or just some like kind of like bookish pet peeves I have but books that have this um, that have kids in them where the kids come to like say this like one line that makes the realization that the person was already in love with that person and they just didn't see it but then what the kid said is just makes so much sense and now they have come to this realization that they're in love with them like do you understand what I'm meaning like did the kid really give you that that push to go and say your truth like do you know what I mean that's just like one thing that I don't like in books um another trope that I do not like in books is cheating most of the time if I hear there's cheating in a book I will not pick it up um, there is a book I read recently, um, actually maybe someday by Colleen Hoover that did have cheating in it and honestly it wasn't my favorite part of the book um, but I really did enjoy that book. It was a five star read for me. Um, I can't really think of any other books that have cheating in it because I, like I said I try to stay clear of them. I want to talk about is Second Chance Romance. Um, I feel like second chance romance is sometimes really good, sometimes kind of bad. So far I've read um, a lot of second chance romances that I feel like are really cute. Um, some that I can just think of at the top of my head, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I have yet to read that one, but this one is really popular. Um, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I have read that one. I really liked the second chance romance in that one. And then It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Loved the second chance aspect of It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, definitely a five star read for me. Really, really enjoyed that book. Um, yeah, so that's just a few books I can think of that have that trope in it. Um, another one I want to talk about is Pen Pals. Honestly, I don't seek out books that have pen pal um, tropes in them, but I, the ones I have read, I have really enjoyed. Um, just a few that I can think of is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I really did like that book. Um, the book I read like that is called Dirty Letters by Penelope Ward, and I really did enjoy that book as well, and that one was another five-star read for me. Um, definitely should check that one out if you like books with pen pals in it. Um, a few other ones that I have written down here that have um, the pen pal trope but I have not read is my favorite Half Night Stand, The Flat Share, and Alex Approximately. These are just a few books that I had looked up on Google um, just to give some more recommendations if you are interested in the pen pal trope. There's probably so many other books um, that go along with these tropes. These are just the few that I have looked up or things that I have read that I thought I would recommend. Okay, another like god tier trope for me is Brother's Best Friend. I love reading Brother's Best Friend tropes so 
Um, if you're not knowing what I mean by that, it was basically like the girl likes her brother's best friend or even um, guy likes his best friend's sister, even that kind of um, one I enjoy as well. Mostly like the girl liking the brother's best friend is more what I read. Um, so I'm gonna give you a couple of recommendations if you like that trope. Um, Twisted Love, uh, Serenading Heartbreak by Ella Fields. I did read that one. Ugly Love, um, I loved Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, five stars. Um, definitely check that one out if you like the brother's best friend trope. Um, Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey and 99% Mine, I believe, by Sally Thorne. Um, so yeah, those are just a few. If you like the brother's best friend trope, you should definitely check those ones out. Another one that I, a trope that I really like, I don't seek these kind of books out, um, but I do enjoy them. I feel like I have quite a few of them on my shelf. Some I have read, some I have not, that are like a vacation slash like holiday romance. Um, so just a few underneath that trope if you enjoy it. So basically it's like um, tropes that are set like during um, a vacation or going somewhere tropical, things like that basically books that you would want to read on the beach um so a few books that i have for that trope if you're interested in that trope is beach read by emily henry i really did like that book five stars um so definitely check that one out and also people we meet on vacation by emily henry i have yet to read that one but i heard it's just as good the spanish love deception um this is what i mean by like vacation like maybe not um like going on like an actual vacation but like maybe traveling somewhere um in the book so spanish love deception they travel um for a wedding um so i also put that underneath like vacation um the unhoneymooners i really really liked that book like i said i gave it four stars um that one there they go on the honeymoon that their family their sister and brother-in-law were were getting married and the best man and the maid of honor are the only two that don't eat from the buffet. So they didn't get sick where everyone else got food poisoning. So they take the vacation. And yeah, I really enjoyed that book. Um, another one I have here is Shipped. It Happened One Summer by Tessa Billy. And also the Summer I Turn Pretty series is basically all like beach vibes, that kind of thing. So I definitely put those underneath vacation romance. Um, the Summer I Turn Pretty series is definitely like a more teen series. Um, I have read the first two books and I did enjoy them. I haven't read the third one yet, but honestly, I'm more into more of an adult romance, I guess. I definitely think that those books would be really great for people who are still in school and that kind of thing. Um, definitely still enjoyable regardless of how old you are, but I just feel like they're more of a younger romance. Okay, so one trope I want to talk about is like taboo romance, which is not everybody's cup of tea. Basically, these are like romances that you kind of have to drop your um, idea of what an actual romance is supposed to be like. Things that wouldn't happen necessarily in real life um, or just things that are maybe just not acceptable, I guess. Um, a couple books that I have read, I haven't read too many of these, but a couple that I could talk about um, is Credence by Penelope Douglas. This one is definitely very taboo. Um, yeah, I, it's, it was a five star read for me, but it was just, it was super weird. I'll talk about it more in my May wrap up if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on that. Um, also another book is Step Brother Dearest by Penelope Ward. I really liked that book. It was another five star read for me. I talked about it in my last wrap up video, um, but it's about a woman who um, growing up was living with her mom and her stepfather and then all of a sudden um, her stepbrother comes to live with the family and I mean they have no relation at all but obviously they spark up a romance definitely a taboo romance i would say I'm trying to think of something else that i have read um birthday girl by penelope douglas i feel like is another taboo one so basically the main character i think her name is jordan she is dating this guy and then she meets um her boyfriend's dad at a movie theater one night and she thinks he's very attractive but obviously she's dating somebody she doesn't know who he is and then it turns out that he is 
her boyfriend's dad and they end up moving into his house because they lost their apartment so they're just kind of trying to save up some money and live in his household but she can't deny the attraction towards him um so yeah I did. okay so another trope i want to talk about that i don't love is like break up to like save him or her kind of trope so if you're not knowing what i mean by this it's kind of like when you're reading a book and the guy or the girl um says oh like you would be so much better off without me um we shouldn't be together you are you know out of my league we shouldn't we shouldn't continue this relationship and they break up and then eventually they figure out they're meant to be together but he's like oh like i don't know if i'm good enough for her kind of thing or vice versa i just don't love that in books um i just feel like i don't know like obviously they're meant to be together they have spent so much of the book together and then that one thing like breaks them apart i just mm, not for me one thing i don't read about a lot but i don't mind in books is like the one night stand type of trope where you know they meet up one night they have a one night stand or they plan to have a one night stand and they're like okay well you know this is not going to go anywhere we're just going to have this one night and then they start one or the other starts developing feelings for the other person and it becomes a relationship i don't typically read stuff that's about that and i don't seek out books that have one night stands in them but i don't mind it um one book that i can think of that has a one night stand in it is um maybe now by colleen hoover it's the last one in the maybe series and in the beginning of the book one of the characters has a one night stand and she was like look like i don't want any strings attached i don't want a relationship right now let's have a one night stand and he was like all for it and then they start developing feelings i feel like it was really well done in that book but i don't like i said i don't seek out books that have that type of trope another trope that i really like but maybe not as much as you know like brother's best friend or fake dating kind of tropes this one's just kind of like a mediocre one is like office romance like um girl gets with colleague or um girl gets with boss vice versa kind of thing i don't mind books like this um i haven't read too many honestly that have this the one that i'm thinking of off the top of my head which is probably the most popular one is the hating game by sally thorne where they're both colleagues um also the spanish love deception um by elena armez i think her name is like books like that i i do enjoy that trope um and i think it can be well done in certain books but i don't seek out books like i said that have that type of trope and i don't mind it another trope that i don't love is like single parents or like books that have kids in them i definitely feel like i like romances where it's like boy meets girl boy falls in love that kind of thing if it's like in the epilogue or like later down the road they have kids or something like that but i don't love books that like have like a single parent or like have kids already in the picture i like the buildup of the romance and then having kids later on or like a continuation of the book if there's like a second book where they're having kids and things like that i enjoy that but i don't unnecessarily gravitate towards books that have single parents in it okay so i have one more trope to talk about um because i'm not sure how long this video is but this one here i feel like is one that everybody's been gravitating towards recently which is small town romance i have a few recommendations for this i really do enjoy this like small town kind of um romance because i live in a small town i don't know i just feel like sometimes you like to read about stuff that is going on in your daily life um, so some books that I have for recommendations for that is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata, Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I'm actually currently reading that book right now. I'm not too far in, but I'll let you know my thoughts in my May wrap up. Um, Things We Never Got Over, uh, The Simple Wild, and also Hook, Line, and Sinker also by Tessa Bailey. Alrighty, so that is everything for today's video. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what your guys' favorite tropes are. I um, would love to hear what you guys' thoughts are, whether you agree with me, whether you don't. Um, everybody has their different tropes that they really enjoy. And 
yeah that's the beauty of having so many different books to read and so many different tropes out there that there's something for everybody definitely want to get into reading maybe some more mafia romance um or more taboo romances to see like and give some more recommendations the next times that um i film one of these videos but yeah give it a like thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day and happy reading bye